In this lesson, I'd like to show you how you can create operations manually on features that have been identified on your part. There might be several reasons why you'd want to use this option, from adding extra options to separating a single operation into multiple steps. We'll be inserting an operation to separate an existing operation. Here we have our default part. As you can see, I've already generated an operation plan and its toolpaths. Now, let's say I wanted to change the OD feature, and instead of having a single turn rough operation, I want it to have two. This might be the case when material you're cutting is extremely strong and requires more than one tool to be machined. Before adding the operation, I'll first edit the existing turn rough, and under the Rough Turn tab, set the allowance amounts to 0.3 inches. Now under the graphics area, notice the turn rough operation leaves a considerable amount of leftover material, which will be machined by a second rough operation. To insert this second rough operation, I simply right click on one of the operations, or on the part setup, and select Insert Turn Operation. Under this first scroll box, I've selected the type of operation I wish to add. You have several options here. As I select between them, note that the preview down here changes to display my selection. We'll be inserting a turn rough. Before continuing, I have to associate this operation with a feature. I can choose from either a features list or an operations list. I recommend you go with the features list. I'll go ahead and select OD feature, since this is the feature we're adding the operation to. To define the operation, you can copy parameters from any existing turn rough operation, or use the default parameters found in the database. With this edit definition box checked, will be automatically prompted to the Operation Parameters window once I click Insert. Here I can go through each tab and define the new operation. I'll click OK, close the Insert Operation window since I don't want to insert any other additional operations, and I can see the Turn Rough has been added to the Operation tree. I'll right-click to generate its toolpath and drag it to locate it after the Turn Rough here. Remember, it's very important to correctly order your operations, since this is how the part will be machined. As I click through the OD operations, you can see how the first turn rough leaves material behind. The second turn rough cleans it up and finishes the roughing. Then, the turn finish finishes the feature, which is exactly what we're looking for.